Fantasy. I made a video like this in 2018. But like Jesse Nelson skin, the trends just kept changing. This video was sponsored by Squarespace. Hi, it's David E. What does the G stand for? The G stands for gagging and crying. Because recently it looks like YA fantasy has had a BBL in the past couple of years. And I feel like there's so many variations of fantasy covers. Now it could be a whole series in itself. <laughs> I'd like you if you would like <laughs> That. I am just so glad that we've kind of matured and stepped away from this whole trend of like confused girl stepped out of the club, hopped onto the set of Game of Thrones and is trying to run away from Conor Maynard. <laughs> that was really such a specific joke. You have to be in a really niche pocket of the internet. Sub trend number one is this passport border control what's the number one thing you need to find out background bark texture leaves forest water uh, fire air long ago the four nations lived together sometimes the background is just like rusty gate that's going to give you tetanus if you touch it george mcdonald is regarded as one of the founding fathers of modern fantasy and in his literature he often connected nature and fantasy together if you think about it fantasy is nothing without the edenic scenes main characters roles and riding down the hill, wind blowing grass in the breeze. They're climbing the cavernous mountains like they really care about this PGL trip to Wales. And nature is common in a lot of fantasy because it allows for escapism. It's a universal landscape for reference. Even individual elements such as trees across folklore throughout history and time. Trees have been used as a symbol of life, of magic, of wisdom. There's whole ass dissertations on this topic if you're more interested. So in terms of cover design, it does make sense for a lot of fantasy covers to still have this element of the natural world with them. Another thing you'll need, some 3D rendered looking high contrast stuff. Swords, lots of swords, a lot of roses, a lot of leaves, crowns, some Illuminati symbolism going on, or barbed wires, intricate gates, and a lot of decorative borders. I'm not gonna lie, I can't tell some of these apart, apart from Caraval, and I don't know if that's because it was one of the earlier ones to kind of feature this type of trend you cannot look at reverie and not tell me that caravel was not a direct influence except reverie Shh. she's suffering from vertigo i don't know what's going on here girl what colors are you gonna need golds blacks reds blues just a lot of dark rich colors and then for the font something serif something 3d looking i feel like this one's quite fun with like texture being the same as the decorative borders. So using all these elements, you know what you're here for. I'm trying to make my own version, right? Before we get to that, let's talk about Squarespace a little bit. If you are watching this and you're creative or just someone who kind of needs a website, you don't need to spend hours on W3 schools, although you can do that still if you want. Sometimes we just live here, stop at us, and one of them is like building a website. I used to be a web developer, so I actually know the pains of fixing broken websites. And I'm all here for things that are here to make your life easier. You can choose your own template and you can customize it as much or as little as you want. Nothing says professional like, yes, I have a website. Your work deserves to be shown. It deserves to be shown well. There's design tools for inbuilt photo editing. Integrates you with other social media so that people who are visiting your site can share your stuff. If you're looking to start a website for whatever reason, go on squarespace.com and I should get a free trial. Just check it out. See if you like it for yourself. And if you do, I have a code for you. So you can either type it's Divya or you can use my link squarespace.com forward slash it's Divya. Sweet 10% off your first purchase for your website. And yeah, I hope that helps some of you. Okay, let's go. I opened up a blank canvas and I stared at it for 15 minutes just burn out student ting. If you didn't see the previous video before this, fantasy titles, yeah, are always so dramatic. They're always like, Oblivion, wicked feast of blood and kingdoms of shanks and brown of rats and and I was like, okay, what are we gonna call this one, my guy? One of the riveting conversations that I've had in the past few weeks that reminded me what it feels like to be alive was with my one of group mates. We were doing like some coursework. It's Britain, yeah, it's getting cold. And we were like, you know what? It's so cold. Our nipples are like glass. They're frozen. It was like, oh, watch out, because I'll lean over the desk and your coursework's gonna get ripped. That's perfect. Nipples of glass. So let's put some glass. I don't even know if that's a metaphor. It's just obvious. Like maybe my nipple shattered the glass because it was so sharp. Like the pressure points like psh. Yeah, I downloaded a glass brush and I just painted some glass. I knew that the background had to be very heavily nature inspired. So I was like, we need rose heads. 
We need lives. Give me Beauty and the Beast, except do not give me Emma Watson's overproduced botched voice. That's not your fault, Emma. Color grading, black and white, up the contrast, up the highlights, dark in the shadows, playing around with some of the opacity blending modes, right? And I was like, how do I include a frame in this? Or is that another subset video category that I'm gonna have to make? I was like, you know what? Let's do framing with some barbed wire. It's like, stay out. These are sharp. Uh, for the title, I was like, gotta make them pointy a little bit. You're gonna make them point a little bit. A little bit. I played around with the embossing and the contour. The rest was just details, darling. Some yellows and play around a little bit with the overlay. Glass overlap the text a little bit for depth. Then, it hit me. Stroke of genius. How am I out here calling this book Nipples of Glass and not having any actual nipples on the cover? What? Okay, so <laughs> this photo, Nick Jonas's nips, it became an iconic moment in the history of our humanity. I hope that this is one of the photos that NASA sends out to the aliens to really embody who we are as a people and a culture and a society and the values that we stand for. Sadly, this is photoshopped, but one can dream. I cut them out like I'm a plastic surgeon. And then I just stuck his nips all over the cover. You know, added a bit of motion blur to make them look like they're like, they're zooming past us. Yeah, they're flying. They're all over the place. <laughs> Decrease the saturation a bit to make it blend it a bit better. We don't want to stand out too much. Cover up a bit, Nick. And yeah, bada bing, bada bong. <laughs> no, you're none the wiser. This is the cover, book one. Uh, it's a story about Nick Jonas and the magic that his nips hold. Um, he has to travel across many mountains, falls in love with some celebrities on the way who are also magic, Alex from Wizards of Waverly Place. One day he finds himself on a beach um, surfing because he has to defeat the sea titan. This is turning into a Percy Jackson novel at this point. I'm planning on making this a series. There's a few other trends in YA covers um, that are a bit above my skill set right now, but one day it will happen. So if you are aware of anything, any trends, let me know and just give me a title for the next fantasy book. Like just whatever you want. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed that. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want. I'll see you guys for my next video. Hugs. I feel like the title is something that we all as a society can relate to. It is, it's a problem. Come with me and you'll be in a world of my Pinterest board. This is a trend. This is a subset of a trend. No, it's not a subset trend. It's like a subset, right? It's trends that are a subset. Subset, does that make sense? What, what am I saying? Anyway, any, these are, these.